so tuberculosis is an infection which is prevalent all over the world also quite prevalent in india and it is basically an infection which is caused by a unique bacteria and the name of that bacteria is mycobacterium tuberculosis so it usually spreads from one person to another from droplet infection it usually spreads from droplet infection but sometimes there are other fluids body fluids also like from the uh, csf fluid like from urine and relatively other non common causes like it can spread from fluid from the lungs but these are all very rare chances of spreading mainly the it spreads from one person's droplet when a person coughs out the bacteria the bacteria remain in the air for a long time and another person coming in contact with this cough can then the bacteria can then go inside the lungs of the other person and cause the infection so tuberculosis generally is uh, of two types one is pulmonary which is involving the lungs and that is the most common cause of uh, involvement of uh, the tuberculosis about 80% of patients of tuberculosis have a pulmonary involvement the other type of tb is extra pulmonary tb where other organs other than the lungs are involved and these organs can be the brain they can be the lymph nodes they can be the pleural fluid that is the fluid inside the lungs sometimes also involves the abdomen rarely sometimes involves the heart and other organs also so these are other forms of extra pulmonary tb that are prevalent in the society so as i just said that tuberculosis is caused by a infection of bacteria the bacteria name is mycobacterium tuberculosis and when the person's immunity is low and this bacteria goes inside the body and then it starts spreading inside the body it starts multiplying inside the body so a one should have a contact with the bacteria and in our country the bacteria is so prevalent that almost all of us have this bacteria going inside the body sometime or the other then the second is when the immunity gets low and the immunity can get low if the person is not having a good diet if he is not resting properly or if he has any disease like diabetes or arthritis or any other medications where the immunity is low so when the immunity gets low the bacteria gets active and starts multiplying and causing the disease inside the body other causes of low immunity that is most common is hiv and there is a lot of coexistence among hiv and tb patients almost all the hiv patients do have a contact with tb and they end up most of the hiv deaths in india are due to tuberculosis also the tb when it starts multiplying inside the body it creates signs and symptoms and we should be aware that if there is persistent cough that is for more than 2 to 3 weeks if we are having persistent night time symptoms like fever uh, night uh, night sweats loss of weight loss of appetite and then there is cough and then there is sputum and if you are coughing out blood so these are the common symptoms of uh, when the lung gets involved and almost all the patients do experience these symptoms but only the thing is that we should be able to catch the symptoms early so the treatment can start at an earlier stage so the treatment process in india is basically with anti tubercular drugs and the government has laid down guidelines about how to give this anti tubercular drugs and if the patient is having drug sensitive tb or drug resistant tb the drugs are separate and the government has very clear cut guidelines it is in the rntcb program that these guidelines are available and the drugs are given for a period of at least 6 months for a drug sensitive tb if the patient has drug resistant tb the regime is longer can take up to 1 and 1/2 to 2 years for complete treatment of the disease yes prevention is obviously very more important than cure so the basic prevention is that you should have a good immunity so even though the bacteria is inside your body it will not trouble you so the good immunity basically comes from having a good nutritious diet having adequate rest exercising regularly and if the patient is having any immunosuppressions like diabetes or any other problem liver kidney problem so they should have a good control of that disease good control of sugar so that your immunity does not get low and your bacteria then if even it's inside the body it will not cause much trouble 
द पर्सन हु आर एट मोस्ट रिस्क आर आइदर दी यंग पेशेंट्स और यंग चिल्ड्रन और एल्डरली पेशेंट्स बिकॉज दे हैव इंट्रेंसिक लो इम्यूनिटी द अदर हाई रिस्क पेशेंट्स आर पेशेंट्स ऑफ डायबिटीज पेशेंट्स ऑफ किडनी डिजीज पेशेंट्स ऑफ लिवर डिजीज एंड पेशेंट्स ऑफ एच आई वी वेयर इन देर इज अ सेकेंडरी लो इम्यूनिटी ड्यू टू दी अदर डिजीज दैट आर अफेक्टिंग द बॉडी सो दीज पेशेंट्स आर एट हाई रिस्क एंड दे शुड बी मोर केयरफुल वेन एवर दे आर स्टेपिंग आउट इन दी ओपन इवन दो मास्क नाउ इज बिकम रेगुलर बट स्टिल इट इज गोइंग टू बी मच मोर यूजफुल फॉर सच कैटेगरी ऑफ पेशेंट्स